Let's go! Great start by Raikkonen. They go into turn one and in grid order. Alonso's looking around the outside though of Massa. And Hamilton leads it. Raikkonen is second. It's wheel barging between Alonso and Massa. And Alonso takes the place from Massa. Massa's coming back up the inside of him into turn six. Alonso suddenly spots him and he's back down to fourth place. Meanwhile, Hamilton with a nice gap up front to uh, Kimi Raikkonen. Hamilton, Raikkonen, Massa, Alonso, the front four. Hamilton, though, looking comfortable at the front. Two and a half seconds in front of Vettel. Uh, makes a nice pass on Kovalainen, but Kovalainen comes back on him. This is the battle for 10th place. On the left-hander, back onto the pit straight here. Vettel very cautious through there. We're riding on board with Sebastian Vettel, who's battling with Heike Kovalainen. It's Hamilton, Raikkonen, Massa, Alonso, and Vettel goes down the inside into the hairpin. That is the passing place of choice here. As Rosberg has a go, to try and take that place away from him. That turn 13 better, and uh, no answer there for Jensen as Rosberg gets the turning point. Jensen tries to switch back underneath. We're hearing that it's starting to rain again, but again, Rosberg has got the racing line into the final turn. A great scrap going on there. As at McLaren get ready for Hamilton, the race leader on lap 15, so a pretty early pit stop for him as Lewis Hamilton comes down to the into the pit lane. Well, he was 29 seconds ahead of fifth place man Coulthard, so he should get out of the pits and not be in traffic. And they, uh, Ralf Schumacher there, shaping up against Kovalainen. Kovalainen wrong footed out of the last corner. So, due in then, so he didn't go too much further than his teammate Hamilton. As he comes out, where does he come relative to Massa? Not quite. So he was trailing him by a couple of seconds before uh, the pit stops, and he's still trailing him. Three. Here he comes then, Kimi Raikkonen short cuts the entrance into the pit lane. The Iceman, as he's known, Clean he's racing for victory here this afternoon. There is Lewis Hamilton. It's going to be close between the two of them. Tell you what, Raikkonen left his pit garage there. They crossed the line. Hamilton, what is the margin? It was, it's four seconds. So by staying out longer, Raikkonen halved the margin. To Hamilton and the prediction is that rain in 10 minutes so very much the pattern we have seen throughout the day everybody is out there at the moment on the intermediate tire the shallower of the two Bridgestone wets side by side as they were on the last lap into turn 14 once, once again Raul Schumacher's got the line yeah, tremendous skill there Got a loose tyre from the Toyota uh, pit stop coming off, you can see. This is a man that's flying on dry tyres. He's about a second a lap faster than Hamilton in the lead. He's all over the back of Felipe Massa in the battle for third place. Massa resists and Alonso tries to cut back up the inside and take this third place away from him. So the first of the big four then in is Felipe Massa. Meanwhile, Kimi Raikkonen has got the gap to Lewis Hamilton down to just 3.1 seconds. But he's going to be re regretting that decision in a second, but the other guys on dry tyres, Wurtz, Kovalainen, Button, Weber, Ralph, Burt, Barrichello, Fisichella and Sato. And uh, Ralph Schumacher has his second spin of the race, but there's Lewis Hamilton and there is Kimi Raikkonen. He got the gap down, there's the spiker that's crashed. Well, at the front, Hamilton has got Raikkonen now breathing right down his neck. And this is the net result. The rain is now falling here in Shanghai. Crucial thing is, what does Hamilton do relative to Raikkonen? And of course, Alonso. So no overtaking, of course, allowed under yellow flag zone. And Hamilton doesn't get a good drive out of that final corner. And Hamilton once again resists and sweeps into turn one, retaining that lead. And Hamilton is dancing on a knife edge. His lap times are in the 155s. He's 10 seconds a lap slower than he was when he was pulling away earlier on. Raikkonen seems to have the advantage in these conditions. Right. He pulls again alongside him and Hamilton's going to have to yield this time. Through goes Raikkonen into the lead. Hamilton goes in too deep into what I believe is turn eight. Indeed it is. Here's nine and uh, Raikkonen has the racing line. Three abreast down the pit straight. What's going to happen here? Two, two, uh, two Renaults and that's just about frightened. Nico Rosberg off the track and this is what happened. He's got, he's in a Renault sandwich effectively and the one on the inside, they both make it through and uh, wow, just hanging on there. Well, he knows that Raikkonen is now ahead of him as he comes to lap the Toyota of Jarno Trulli. He's still going to be the world champion. So now he's thinking only of his mirrors, but look, Trulli almost unlaps himself. They're very close to each other and uh, Hamilton is really struggling. These wet weather tires. Hamilton getting very, very wide in turns one and two. He's got to come in. He's got, I think he's got a, a 
think he's got some delamination on that right rear tyre. Teammate Fernando Alonso comes into view. Lewis Hamilton had tyre problems. It could cost him a handful of points and the possibility of walking away from this race as the world champion because his teammates sense an opportunity here. Into the pits anyway comes Lewis Hamilton. He goes straight on into the gravel track. Can he keep the wheel spinning? Can he get some momentum going? Oh. No, he can't. Need to get the rule book out here and see if he can get a pit, push in the pit lane. He's trying to keep uh, the engine running. The marshals are, don't seem to want to help him. Well, as things stand, this is going to turn the World Championship on its head. Can Kimi Raikkonen win this race ahead of Fernando Alonso? Certainly had a big enough margin. Certainly has the speed in the Ferrari. And both of these men, their World Championship hopes are still alive. In comes the defending champion. Look at this battle here. This is Massa and Alonso. Alonso on the harder tyres. So two different uh, plans at work here. The harder tyre on the McLaren of Fernando Alonso, the softer tyre on the Ferrari of Felipe Massa, which at the moment certainly looks to be the faster tyre. Lewis Hamilton walks disconsolately back into the pits. He must have been almost crying when uh, the car got beached in the gravel trap. Here's how he lost it. Well, he was unsighted coming into the pit lane and he just lost the back end of the car. Robert Kubica in the BMW leads this Grand Prix. He's only made the one stop, it came at the perfect time, and there he is. So he went onto the dry tyres at just the moment when he was planning to make his pit stop anyway. And uh, Kubica pulling off from the lead of the Grand Prix. And that's after the hairpin. Is that a technical problem? Seems that way. Just... That's the current situation then. If things finish exactly as they are with Raikkonen winning the race, Alonso second. Four points the margin to Alonso, seven points to Raikkonen. Lewis Hamilton is now going to have a hopefully a slightly longer chat with Louise Goodman. Yeah, but in a better position to talk to him now. I mean, Lewis, you, we were talking about the decision to stay out for so long on those worn tyres. Just talk us through that a bit. Well, we're having a great race and, uh, you know, we didn't know whether it was going to rain or not and the tyres that I was on are just still getting worse and worse and at the end I could almost see the canvas underneath and, uh, you know, coming into the pits and it was like, I, I couldn't do anything about it. But. And I was coming in that lap. So it could have worked out perfectly. We've still got one more race to go. And um, don't worry, we can still do it. Alonso now 10.1 seconds adrift. And this performance here this weekend shows he is very much the man on form at the moment as we wind down this 2007 season. So here comes Kimi Raikkonen to record his 14th career victory. A very important one that takes him through with the World Championship fight to Brazil in two weeks' time. Well, it was a Shanghai surprise for Lewis Hamilton. And now he's going to have to do it the hard way in Brazil in two weeks' time.